Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick with the end of the video where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 8 to the power of 202 plus 8 to the power of 200 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, 8 to the power of 202, we can rewrite as 8 to the power of 200 plus 2. So I have 8 to the power of 200 plus 2 plus 8 to the power of 200 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, a to the power of 200 plus 2, that's going to equal a to the power of 200 times a to the power of 2. Now I have this plus a to the power of 200 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, from my numerator here, I can go ahead and factor out 8 to the power of 200. So now I have 8 to the power of 200 times, now 8 to the power of 200 times 8 to the power of 2 divided by 8 to the power of 200 is simply 8 to the power of 2, and now 8 to the power of 200 divided by 8 to the power of 200 is 1. So 8 to the power of 2 plus 1 now I have this over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, 8 to the power of 2, that's equal to 64. So now I have 8 to the power of 200 times 64 plus 1 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. 64 plus 1 is 65. So I have 8 to the power of 200 times 65 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now these two 65s can simply cancel out. So now I have 8 to the power of 200 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now 8 here, this is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So now if I substitute in 2 to the power of 3 for 8, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 200 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 200, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 200, is equal to 2 to the power of x. 3 times 200 is 600, so now I have 2 to the power of 600, is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to 600 because both our exponents here are equal to each other. So that is our answer. All right, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 5 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n, right? And a to the power of m times n here, these two, m times n, these two are interchangeable, meaning this is also equal to a to the power of m times m. And a to the power of n times m, now we can rewrite this as a to the power of n to the power of m. So this means that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5, and we can change the places of x to the power of 5 and 5. So now I'm going to have x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5. And now this is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now 100, this is equal to 10 squared, so now I have x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 squared to the power of 5. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, that's going to equal to 10 to the power of 2 times 5. 
and 2 times 5 is 10. So now I have x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 5 on both sides. So then these two will cancel out. I'll be left with x is equal to 10 to the power of 1 over 5. So that is our answer. All right, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 9. Now the first thing I'm going to do is use an important property of exponents, which states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 3 to the power of x plus 9, we can rewrite as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 9. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 3 to the power of x. So then for my right-hand side, these two are going to cancel out. So I'll be left with x to the power of x over 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So x to the power of x over 3 to the power of x, we can rewrite as x over 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 9. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 1 third on both sides. So now I have x over 3 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 9 to the power of 1 over 3. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x over 3 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 3 is going to equal x over 3 to the power of x times 1 over 3, which is x over 3. Now 3 to the power of 9 to the power of 1 over 3, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 9 times 1 over 3, which is simply 9 times 1 over 3 is simply 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x over 3 is equal to 3. So now to solve this, I can simply multiply both sides by 3. These two cancel out. I'll be left with x is equal to 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 is our answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of x minus 2. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is for my left-hand side, I'm going to factor out 3 to the power of x. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1. This is equal to 7 to the power of x minus 2. Now, 1 plus 1 is 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7 to the power of x minus 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 7 to the power of x plus 2, we can rewrite as 7 to the power of x plus negative 2. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7 to the power of x times 7 to the power of negative 2. Now, 7 to the power of negative 2, this is the same thing as 1 over 7 to the power of 2. And now, 7 to the power of 2 is 49. So now, I have 7 to the power of x over 49. Now, I can multiply both sides by 49. So then these two will cancel out, and I'll be left with 7 to the power of x is equal to 49 times 3 to the power of x times 2. Now 49 times 2 is 98, so now I have 7 to the power of x is equal to 98 times 3 to the power of x. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to the power of x. So then these two will cancel out, and I'll be left with 7 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x is equal to 98.
Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 7 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 7 over 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 98. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 7 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 98. And an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is equal to b times log a. So in this case, log 7 over 3 to the power of x, I can move this exponent x to the front. So this is equal to x times log 7 over 3 is equal to log 98. Now I can divide both sides by log 7 over 3. So then these still cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to log 98 over log 7 over 3. Now log 98, this is equal to approximately 1.9912, and log 7 over 3, this is equal to log 7 minus log 3 which is equal to 0 0.3679. So I have 1.9912 over 0 0.3679, which is equal to 5.4123. So this is our answer.